Hey guys, in today's video, we're taking a look at some additional glitches within iOS 12. Last week, I posted a video with about seven or eight problems and glitches within iOS 12 beta 1. Now we have beta 2. I'm going to cover all the ones that I talked about last week to see if Apple did fix those and also talk about some that are currently existing within beta 2. Let's begin. First, let's jump into Control Center. So within Control Center in beta 1, when we activated the platter here for the timer, we couldn't actually set a timer. Look at that now completely fixed running very very smooth in beta 2 so that one has been fixed now this next one has to do with the camera within landscape mode here in safari let's say you're in safari you bring down the notification center you click here on the camera it would be a mess nothing would be usable okay look at that now perfectly usable in beta 2 so apple is definitely reading those radar reports for all the bugs that i've submitted and i'm sure a bunch of you guys have as well now last week i did talk about a bug within the phone application when you make a phone call here you see right there the outgoing call panel if we go into the app switcher we have both the phone call app and then the outgoing call panel here in the app switcher but if we would hang up in beta 1 and go back to the app switcher that phone call panel would stick around. You couldn't quit it, you couldn't close it, but now it is fixed in beta two as well. Another one that I talked about was with the live wallpapers and live photos within iOS 12 beta one. So let's go here into the live wallpapers for iOS and let's go to the lock screen to see if they actually work now. There you go, completely working. So beta two really fixing a bunch of issues with the software now this next one's kind of funny you know how you swipe over to the left here and delete a message thread well in ios 12 beta 1 when you went to settings and you went to the carrier settings if you were to swipe left on the hotspot the carrier data section anywhere around here it would show the same menu as it does in messages here you see except the hide alert but it would show this delete button when swiping to the left right there within the settings for the carrier but that as you see it's also been fixed Okay, so now let's talk about some of the glitches in iOS 12 beta 2. Now, I haven't come across a bunch of glitches in beta 2, but I'm going to show you the ones I've come across. If you come across any and you'd like to share them, be sure to follow me on Twitter, and I'll be sure to credit you on my follow-up video for glitches next week as well. So let's take a look here at the control center. Take a look at the status bar there where it says AT&T, the Wi-Fi. You see there that the battery does not align, and the percentage does not align with the rest of the status bar there. Maybe a bug, maybe a new look for iOS 12, but definitely looks like a bug. When connected to Bluetooth, you no longer get the Bluetooth indicator on the status bar either. So I'm pretty sure this is a bug here because it's not aligned and the Bluetooth icon isn't appearing when you connect to Bluetooth, but we'll have to wait and see. GPS is an issue in iOS 12 and it continues to be an issue in iOS 12 beta 2. So if you use Google Maps or Apple Maps, it doesn't matter. The GPS just doesn't really find your location. It takes a long time to find your location. And when you start to go to a destination, it's just all over the place. So you're not alone on this one. GPS is definitely broken in iOS 12 beta 1 and also beta 2. Now when we get a new software update in beta form like iOS 12, of course, a major software, a lot of apps tend to break. In this case, Skype was broken for me. Skype recently updated their app to support iOS 12. But I've heard a lot of reports that other apps without having to be updated are again working in iOS 12. A bunch of apps were broken. So it looks like Apple is also fixing a lot of these apps compatibility and also issues that may cause these apps to crash now as i mentioned i'm gonna share with you one more from beta 2 that i've noticed within the last 48 hours that i've had beta 2 installed it was released on a tuesday so today is thursday so i've had it installed for about two days so here's another one and this is my favorite one and i hope it is not a bug so i'm going to go ahead and call myself here and you see there that the phone call comes in but if i hit remind me to remind me later it still keeps ringing in the background and I can adjust the volume and the other person will not know that I've declined the call or completely ignored it. Within iOS 11 or iOS 12 beta 1, if you decline or hit remind, the other person will know that you declined the call. But in this case, it keeps ringing in the background. I can even mute it and the phone keeps vibrating, but the call never gets ignored. Hopefully that's not a bug. It really does look kind of like a bug but I would just want this so bad that I want it not to be a bug. And that's everything I wanted to share with you guys today. If you find any additional ones that you would like to share, as I mentioned, be sure to follow me on Twitter for that. It's been iDevice Help. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.